Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hidrashi Do, we're in episode 9, new arc baby, tutorial Roshi equivalent. We're all excited for that. A um, couple of things in this intro might be slightly longer than Aiden, stop doing long intros. Well, I have an excuse. Today's uh, Christmas Eve, so happy Christmas Eve. It's a holiday special. I mean, not really, because there's like nothing different. Where's the Santa hat, Aiden? I don't even own one, dude. And my head's massive. <laughs> but yeah, you know, drinking some eggnog, my favorite Christmas um, seasonal treat. And we're just trying to have a good time. So yeah, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you're having a good one. Also, on Saturday, we have our movie night of the month. And we're doing a Christmas special watching the remastered version of Tokyo Godfathers. So, if that sounds interesting, uh, feel free to check it out. Pretty, pretty great movie. Um, but yeah, let's get into some stuff. First off, before we even start this arc, dude, a couple of theories, because Wata Damashi Hen left a lot of questions, and we had some dank, some dank theories last um, episode, but I, I, I thought of a couple more, just to put it, put it in. Um, so... We did have that crazy theory where Satoko is part of the mountain dogs or something or working with them. I, I mean, it's not that crazy. There's like a lot of kind of evidence. I thought like maybe we're leaning too much into that and maybe Mion was just high syndrome this whole time instead of um, breaking free from Shion and killing her. Um, It kind of, I mean, it, it'd be kind of sweet because even in High Syndrome, she would, like, be prioritizing Keiichi as, like, a goal not to, like, kill, which is, I'm just saying, that's the best couple right there. Um, and instead of, like, if Mian was High Syndrome, or even if she wasn't the whole time, if she was High Syndrome at the end, maybe Satoko wasn't actually an enemy and Mian just thought she was and killed her. And she was kind of delusional from the high syndrome. I think that's the other answer. And I know you're like, oh, but why was Satoko in the hallway? And, and when Keiichi broke out of his cell, he saw mountain dogs. Um, I think the best answer for that is we saw earlier in the episode Satoko was super inquisitive towards Keiichi. So I think like maybe she was doing detective mode and was checking out uh, Mian's house because she thought maybe Mian was suspicious. And it was more of a coincidence type thing. But the Satoko working for the Mountain Dodge is kind of dang, so I believe that more. Just wanted to put that out. Another cool one. So we established the point of if they switched. I thought in the last episode, like, maybe they switched after school. Um, or earlier that day before school. But after, like, watching the episode back a bit, I think... Maybe, actually, like, I don't even know how this is possible, but, like, Mion switched with Xion while Xion was getting tea for KG. It's just because, I think that, like, the, and it's not that crazy, I just don't know how it would happen. But it's, like, because when Mion and KG, or, yeah, when Mion and KG were talking, when they first got in, before she changed into her uh, kimono, they were like literally exact lines from the visual novel, and it even kind of sounded like Xi'an, like the voice was off a bit. Um, and then as soon as she got the tea and changed into the kimono, she seemed like a different person um, and seemed more like Mian. So like maybe the switch happened there, like Mian snuck out of um, the prison and while Xi'an was getting the tea, she killed, uh, she killed her. And like, like, my original thoughts was it's kind of hard to imagine because we also saw, like, Xian's dead body floating in the well at the end. But, like, then I realized that we actually didn't. That was just Keiichi, like, imagining it. <laughs> we don't actually know the state of the bodies. So, I think that's actually pretty good. Um, I also wrote, oh, we, she killed Mion and Ta Satoko. Not Takano. I put the Toko. I, I don't know why. I I sometimes refer to Satoko as that. It's a habit. Um, I don't know why I wrote that down. I guess, like, if we're still thinking Oishi... I mean, we had a pretty dank theory for Oishi. Like, if he is a mastermind, um, it kind of made sense. Like, you can imagine that the car watching them 
Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be the mountain dogs. It could have been, like, Oishi. So he could have been there first at the scene. Um, he has a gun for the gunshots. It's kind of not that likely, though. I don't know. I, li I like theorizing about Oishi. Then I just wrote date concealed for the disaster. Um, yeah, that's right, because at the end of uh, the scene, when KG got discharged from the hospital, it didn't actually show the date, and it was kind of weird why. And I guess, like, it's concealed to see if the disaster happened or not. But, like, I don't really understand. Because we already know from uh, the source material that the disaster doesn't happen in the Watanadashi Maitashi timeline anyway. So, like, I don't know, dude. But, yeah, that just, just some cheeky little theories I thought of while, while we were waiting to react to this episode. <laughs> Are any of them true? Who knows? Who knows? And yeah, let's, before we get started, treat of the week. We didn't really have like a Christmas treat, so I just got this from the box. I think it's pudding. Do people eat pudding for Christmas? I feel like I've heard that before, but let's give it a little read. This one's a little like, I've been saving this one. It feels like a good, a good time to eat it. Just because it's, I don't know, it feels a little more fancy, maybe just because it's pudding. Where's the tech? Where's the tech? Here we go. Classic Wagashi. Don't even know what that means. Red Bean Pudding by Morihaku Confe Confectionary. Gifu? Dude, is Gifu the... The prefecture supposedly, like, Shishibone would be beside? I feel like it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Dairy soybeans, the pudding is made with sweet azuki beans, which were first introduced to Japan via China over a thousand years ago. They are a popular flavor in wadashi, traditional Japanese desserts such as this pudding. Okay, so wadashi is, like, super traditional. Alright, let's try it. Red bean. <clears throat> red beans. Alright. I'm not the biggest fan. I've had, like, red bean ice cream before and stuff. But, why not? But while I get this open, yeah, we're starting to tour Garoshi. We kind of talked about it. I, my twist was kind of right for Watam, the Watanadashi, sorry. The names, the names, dude. But I was trying to, I kind of called, like, it would be kind of a cool twist if Mion killed people. So I'm just trying to go with my past prediction and say Satoko's going to kill people um, for the twist. Like, I don't know, maybe she kills Tepe or something. I mean, she. I guess she technically yeets Keiichi off a bridge, but, like... That's not really what I'm talking about. I think that'll be the twist for Tatoid Roshi. There's like, yes, Satoko killed her parents, um, but she didn't actually actively kill someone while crazy, so it could be a nice twist. Take a look at that. That bean pudding. I know if you haven't had red bean stuff, it kind of sounds weird as a dessert, but it's used a lot, like in mochi and stuff. Mmm, very sweet, and it tastes like red bean. It's a sweeter version of red bean than I us am usually used to in, like, mochi. Honestly, like, it's kind of lit. That's a nice Christmas dessert. <laughs> but yeah, no stalling. And long, long, I know, long intro. Okay, let's get started. Uh, Timer-based reaction as per usual, which means you need your own copy of the episode. My episode's 23 minutes, 41 seconds. I'm using the Blu-ray. Um, I didn't even know this, but apparently the non-Blu-ray is censored. That's, like, kind of crazy, dude. I don't even know what they censor, but that sucks. <laughs> so you should probably just buy the Blu-ray. Like me, I bought the Blu-ray. I saw last time, or the time before. <laughs> Um, anyways, not, not to brag, not to brag. Um, yeah, we're doing that. So no studio logos in the front. So you will have to skip over your studio logos. And at the end of the episode, we will, um, we will talk about it a bit. I predict this episode's going to be very close to, um, to Toragoroshi. That's kind of the pattern. It deviates closer. Well, it's usually like extremely the same the first episode. 
second episode's the same, but starts to deviate. And we'll start to see the deviation like spike near the end. But yeah, let's get started. Um, to Tortoroshi, it's an interesting arc. Um, I know considered by a lot of people, it's their favorite question arc. I th- I still think Watson Adashi is my favorite. Um, but we'll see what they do with it. I think I'm in the minority though, but who knows? Who knows? But yeah, let's just start it in three, two. One, go. That's the Toko house. Oh, wait, no, this is the... Where they find the body, right? Or is it the Toko house? Yeah, that's the Toko house. That's crazy, dude. Tepe? Tepe reveal? Rina? Or Auntie? Oh. oh, that scared me. Classic Tepe, you love to see it. A Sir Dominant, yeah, screw off landlady. I'm joking. <laughs> Ooh, what's he taking, dude? Mm hmm. June 9th. That's very early. You usually start at June 12th, right? Ooh, this is, or is this Tatoroshi? They do have a very similar scene in Anakatoshi, right? No, no, this is Tatoroshi. This is the Bento competition. I remember now. <laughs> the Apple Rabbits from Anakatoshi. What is that? Rena, that's crazy. Look at the rice, man. They all look good, man. Lunches are so fancy. That being said, when I actually had bento boxes in Japan, I, I wasn't as impressed. <laughs> but it might just be my personal taste. Oh boy. I think we're gonna see the giant fire. <laughs> it's the meme, dude. I'm glad they brought it. They didn't show it in the other arts. Aww. You love to see it? Haha. <laughs> Oh, fighting words. <clears throat> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Dude, I love this song, man. I feel like I mentioned it before. It's a banger, lofty banger. <laughs> Alright, they're gone, bro. Oh, they're totally gonna show the stir fry disaster. Dude, this is the time. It'll be hard confirmed whether Satoshi exists or not. They can't dodge it now, he's so important to the Cirque. <laughs> Cause he's really big on Satoko's character, right? Ooh. Dude, there's no way. It looks so hard. <laughs> Dude, that's me trying to follow a recipe. I cannot cook at all. I wish I could. Dude, that is not a teaspoon. Yo, it's a flame. The drop kit, dude. What the heck? Okay, that was actually great. 
How do you even do that, KG? Quit thinking. <laughs> Doesn't even realize it, eh? Thank you for that description, Rika. That was a great description. <laughs> It's time for Sister Satoto, dude. You love to see it. Into Todoroshi for like a little bit until it starts getting depressing. <laughs> dude, she made a full cube. She made a cube out of little cubes. Name drop Satoshi, dude. If Rita named, I wonder like what Rita would think about it. <laughs> okay. Name dropping Satoshi. We'll see if Satoko. It made sense for Rita to say that, but. I want to see what Satoko says. Because Rita might not know Satoshi's not... Doesn't exist. He wasn't the one who disappeared, dude. It's confirmed. It's confirmed in Ani Damashi. I didn't miss that. I'm finished with the pudding. Sorry for disturbing. It was actually great. I regret dissing red bean. This relationship development, the older brother, younger sister, with Keiichi and Satoko is really great though. One of the best parts of Tatoru Doroshi. Aww. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, so he exists. That's so weird. They didn't mention him at all in the past two arts. Even though he's relevant to Xi'an. A lot. Fuck my theories. Fuck. <laughs> Padding. Train, no. Knee, knee. <laughs> and homeless, probably. <laughs> See, this is exactly like Tatoroshi. Damn, I'm confused, man. I, I thought Satoshi was gone for sure, man. That's a, that's a rip. Though we'll see. Maybe there's, there has to be something there. Lolly dating. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna love this episode. Cause a happy Satoko is a great Satoko. 
June 10th. That's yeah. a four-day strip. Yo, they're even showing this. They didn't show this in the OG anime. The shopping memes. <laughs> oh man, I'm just thinking of the possibilities of what's gonna happen. Are we gonna get the Tatino scene? Doesn't really make sense since she would have disappeared by then. <laughs> Yo, it looks just like the book. Wizard, man. Ew. True, Teichi. Hygiene. You're lucky you're not born into the Corona era. <laughs> oh my god. How, dude? I remember in the visual novel, she set that up in like a minute or something. <laughs> Look at Keiji. So caring right now. Uh, blocked by mom. Unlucky for everyone. Uh You hate to see it. I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is the baseball game with Komeda. This is different. It's usually Satoko calling Ren Keichi, not Rena. Interesting. Yeah, bring the golf club. Yo, we got to meet one of the best side characters ever, Komeda. Fan favorite of the channel. Everyone loves him. No no cap. <laughs> and Irie's appearance. Dude, it's good to see Irie. Look at him. Look at him low deaf in the corner. <laughs> uh, baited. Rana. <laughs> oh. Yo, Kameda? What the heck? No plan needed? Kameda, wait, Satoko soloing Kameda? How? Okay, that's different. That's kind of weird. No, I guess Rena calling. Oh, I guess that's why Satoko didn't call, because she didn't actually need Keichi. <laughs> Dude, we're just brushing over Eerie because the scene ended so fast. <laughs> Kameda! Dude, that was his introduction! We didn't even get anything from my boy! Coach and pitcher! Ooh, 
Are we done with the Xion scene? That's very interesting. I want to see if Xion acknowledges Satoshi. Please. <laughs> Satoshi, er, uh, Satoko didn't it. What is that drip? Eerie drip? Are you kidding me? Look at him. He's so dapper. New suede. Where's the Hawaii shirt? With the sunglasses, dude. <laughs> Classic Yuri. As long as Xi'an doesn't make that weird R joke. I'm not even going to say the word. We're good, though. That's the only point where it takes it too far. Fuck, I was so wrong, dude. I thought Satoshi was gone. I was actually so confident about that theory. My hopes and dreams are crushed. I'm a failure. Dude, meat and onion skewers are so good. Yeah, you didn't get the information that uh, Satoko and Rika lived together. We well, kind of saw it in the first episode. But the whole thing of watching Adashi didn't happen, right? Eerie, dude. Dude, it looks so cool. I can't get over that. That's the biggest glow up we've seen so far, I think. Besides Rika's shrine maiden outfit with the ponytail. <laughs> Xi'an, don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Hello, Xi'an. Bro, you should have seen Xi'an's joke in, uh... <laughs> Just leaves? Nope. No Satoshi, no cum. Yo! Maybe my theory's fine. Okay. I mentioned it in Watson Adashi. But it was kind of weird anyways. Okay, so she unlights the Toto already. Dude, did Satoko get buffed or something? She's kind of popping off and go. Even in last arc with the... The memory thing. Matching game. <laughs> Me? Pa? Oh, so the curse did happen to him. So the main difference is that Xi'an's keeping her promise with Satoshi. Oh. Rana, Rana that's a lot crazier on Satoshi discussions. Though you didn't see it in 
I need the mashi. I have a good theory, guys. Though I kind of talked about it, like, in other episodes. I feel like it's getting slowly confirmed. About how everyone's still retaining some of their memories and it's changing their characters a lot. A scene with like Satoko, I think. And Shion, I think. The fact that she liked Satoshi is a big tell. Unlucky. Got yeeted. <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. I don't even know if they talked about it in this. Who that? Tepe? He looks so tiny there. Uh oh. People already feel his presence, dude. So menacing. I'm honestly surprised that the Sonozakis don't just like yeet him out of here. Like, I know they're not like killing people for the curse, but like. But like, come on, they don't even like him, dude. Just yeet him out of here. I guess because they don't like Satoko either. Is it over? No shot. No shot! It's been 22 minutes? Are you kidding me? God damn. Okay, we have some thoughts. Though it is pretty similar, but I actually have like a... Yeah, we'll talk about it after. I don't know, listen to this. We didn't hear it last episode. I'm still of the opinion that I like this on more than the opening. I know people really like the opening though. I'm honestly like the majority of the time I do like the, the I, I tend to like the endings of Hidrashi more than the openings. It's just a trend, dude. They know how to appeal to me. Uh... You hate to see that, dude. Scared Toto. Can't wait to see Rena, dude. <laughs> Any Rena fans? I mean, she's supposed to be dead this arc, but... I mean, if they're showing the scene with Rena there, I assume they are gonna go into Rena for, like, the answer arts. But I feel like the answer arts are probably more different. Um, we're... Wait. I feel like... What's the point of, uh... Okay, we're done, by the way. Thank you for watching the video. We're gonna do a discussion now. Um, but yeah, if you're done, thanks for watching. Have a great Christmas. If not, then thanks for watching. Also, have a great Christmas, but stick around. <laughs> Good episode. We kind of called it. I think there's like a pattern. We're kind of es es escalates and change. Like the first episode's usually very similar to the source material. Then it starts to deviate slowly on like an upward scale. Um, and I believe like just calling it... Calling it now, next episode's ending is going to be super hype because every every arc for the second episode so far has been like 
had like a really hype ending. I hope they continue the trend. Um, yeah, I was, I was trying to say, like, I don't understand why they even have like the ending credits saying the next episode because, like, the, all the episodes are basically just the same name with part one, two, three, you know, <laughs> and there's no preview, so it's like, I don't know, dude. But yeah, let's talk about it. Oh, Toad open with Tepe living kind of in a dilapidated, maybe dilapidated to a uh, strong of a word for Tepe's condition or apartment's condition. But obviously, we know that um, without Rena, no one's doing the housework because Rena's dead. I, for a second, I thought they were actually going to show Rena's death because I didn't, I didn't know what that house was, dude. I thought it was Satoto's house, but it wasn't. It, it's just Tepe's apartment. But yeah, bad living situation. Nice to see him, though. He's a great antagonist, <laughs> whether you like him or not. Um, start of the bento, um, the bento competition. Let, let's, let's take a look at these bentos, man. We'll judge them ourselves. We got... We got Mian's. Hold on. Dude, look at Mian. Six eggs, some fish, cucumbers. I don't even know what that is, dude. It has chives in it, like some stewy thing. Some boiled vegetables. I don't even know what that is with the bows on them. Karate. With a carrot. Mitts. Corn, eggs, peppermint, rice with um, the dried fish, fish plates. Now that's, that's, I mean, I just taste wise, that's probably more up my ally, alley. You love to, they also showed Rena's apple rabbits, um, which I think they did show in Totoroshi, but also kind of a shout out from Anakatoshi, which they didn't show the apple rabbit battle. <laughs> Rena's lunch looks swagged out too. You love to see it. You also love the the cauliflower broccoli reference. Now they do again. They do say it into Toradoroshi, but they skip through it in uh, Ani Damashi. So I love the broccoli joke, dude. It's great. Spreads throughout multiple arts and it ends in like one of the best crescendos involving Satoko getting her brains blown. Out. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> it's just so good, dude. Then we got cooking, cooking my bro, dude. Summoning a freaking fire demon, dude. Look at that flame. It's shooting out of the freaking vent. Then you get the rare Satoko drop pitch. It's, it's good energy. And as we descend into the cute Satoko and kind of caring Keichi relationship, which is really dope. Now, this is, I will say, my, my ego did take a take a freaking hit because i was really sure about my satoshi theory i totally thought he was just retcon from the story obviously like not not because they didn't want him in but for like a higher purpose but no he definitely exists everyone seems to know about him um it kind of ties into a different theory i have though but it's just weird we didn't get anything about him in a Ani Damashi and Wata Damashi Hen, just because he is, he is, he's not a focal point like he is in this, but he is important and he's referenced a lot, especially in like Ani Damashi. But I guess it kind of made sense since Keiji doesn't really go crazy, never even picked up the bat. Um, and I guess it's Mion, though I, I still think it's a hybrid between Mion and Shion killing people in uh, Wata Damashi. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought, like, Rita was gonna drop Satoshi's name, and Satoko was just like, who that? Who that? New phone? <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop being cringe. I mean, a cringe mood, dude. It's, uh, you should allow it. It's the Christmas episode. But yeah, wholesomeness extended. And then very similar to, um, the source material. They even added in, uh, the, the grocery shopping scene and the scene of Keiichi's mother coming home, which was kind of skipped over in uh, in the OG anime. So, nice touches. 
<laughs> the chat. Okay, then we get to the baseball game. Introduction of Eerie and Komeda Ace Pitchers. Each pitcher reached Koshin once. Great character. And then <laughs> it's a funny scene. This is like the first major change. Instead of Satoko calling for help, it's Rana calling for help. And instead of making uh, this whole elaborate plan to make uh, Kameda basically just give them the dub, um, Satoko just solos him. You also see Eerie. He's chilling. <laughs> also, the outfits look a little different. They're more red. In the visual novel, they're orangey. Good choice, though. They look better. Now, here's here's a dank theory that will tie in as we go, with, go through this. Like I said before, and we've been using this theory, but I want to consolify it into a bigger theory. I I think, obviously, since this is post Mayatashi, I think as these fragments continue, characters are still developing. Like we saw in Mina Roshi and Sumi Horoboshi, Keiichi started to develop his memory back. And then in Matsuri Bayashi, um, everyone started to do it so i think like as we continue these time loops people's memories are coming back more and more and it's like changing the whole shape of the fragment like it's a total is a great example like not not even like talking about the in the last start how she uh was kind of sussy um but like in the game tournament she was the first to finish, which did not happen in um, the source material. Because normally, Satoko, in the source material, Satoko was struggling, then one with the trap. In this one, she, I mean, and I, I'm, I'm assuming they just showed her to finish first, not because they wanted to, but because it kind of has a deeper meaning. And same with this one, instead of doing an elaborate trap to uh, deceive Komeda, she just actually just solos him. <clears throat> so I think they, they are regaining the memory and they do from the past lives like more and more and it's like evolving their characters into something like different um same as Shion, Shion's a great example like my original thought was maybe Satoko didn't die in the arc because Shion does not hate Satoko because Satoshi didn't exist but obviously that was wrong but as we see in this episode Shion, Satoshi exists but Shion does not hate Satoko. She actually cares for like a big sister, which is the development we saw in um, Mina Doroshi, right? It started in Mina Doroshi. Yeah, it started in Mina Doroshi. So I believe it's carrying on, right? And like this ties into the theory I've been using with like Rena and Oishi that maybe they're they've dealt with Tomotaki and Takano and hid the bodies because they're also remembering what happened. Now, obviously, there's, like, flaws, and it's mainly just thinking out loud. But I feel like that's, like, a general feeling I'm getting from the majority of this arc, um, or the story so far, that kind of explains things. And maybe, like, one of these characters who who wasn't the main villain sort of transforms into the main villain, um knowing how not how the world works but knowing the information they know aka oishi <laughs> but yeah i feel like it's pointing a lot to that a lot from satoko's performances to um possible explanations for rana killing tomatati takano which again feels lightly um to shion like in satoko so early on in the story but yeah, just wanted to point that out. But, you know, even greater than that, dude, you have to comment. Probably the highlight of the episode. I mean, I'm joking, but, like, not really. Irie's new drip, dude. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Usually just wears that yellow shirt with the sunglasses in his pocket. I guess so he can quit switch between glasses. Man's, look man's dressed up for this barbecue. <laughs> He's actually like, I love, I love it, dude. It looks good on him. Um, the conversation with Keiichi and Iria is again very similar. I think, I think the majority of the rest of the episode is very similar, besides the Shion thing, um, not freaking over Satoshi and obviously liking Satoko more. Um, 
than normal. The conversation between me, Mion and Teichi and Tepe's return. Yeah, it, again, it, it, it's kind of hard to talk about because, again, most of it is, like, literally the same as the source material, um, besides what we noted. What we noted. Um, I mean, yeah, that was my main theory, which, I, I th again, I think it's right, but don't. I mean, I think it's right. <laughs> but obviously, I thought Satoshi was also freaking yeeted from the story, so. Um, but, yeah, good episode, good episode. Um Again, we're just starting off, though. Like I said, we're going to see the freaking slope first. Um, it, it was fun while it lasted, dude. Now we're going to get into Sad Toto. The, wor <laughs> the worst uh, variation of Satoko, just as all you feel is pure despair, man. Pure despair. I'm very interested in what can happen, though. Again, from the intro, I still think Satoko killing Tepe as a twist is interesting. And... Maybe right. Um, I'm very interested to see if Keiichi kills Tepe because again, Keiichi did not fall into the syndrome in a uh, under Kakashi. I wonder if that'll happen again in Watanagashi or in. I keep messing up the names. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so hard. Why couldn't they just name the different freaking names, dude? It would be so much easier if they didn't sound like it's uh, the previous arts. Ah. <laughs> uh. But anyways, I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm excited. What can happen next episode? It's probably just like... Sad Toko. I feel like it's going to be the same. So Toko slowly gets a higher level of symptoms. People are feeling helpless. I'm just wondering if Keiichi will fall into despair. And since Shion actually likes Toko in this arc, will she actively be helping? Can we create a Mina Groshi situation from this point? Um, it's it's hard to say because like we don't know what fucked up thing happens. Because usually the fucked up thing that happens in a uh, in this arc is Keiichi killing Tepe, plus uh, everything after that, <laughs> the whole Keiichi paranoia. Well, they might play it out, right? They might. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but thanks for watching. I then have a great day, great Christmas. If if you're watching after that, have hope you had a great Christmas, and I will see you next time, um, next week, dude. And we'll, I guess we'll have a London show for New Year's. So it's the it's 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 the month for London shows. What can I even say? <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>